Welcome back to CVTV. I'm Aaliyah. And I'm Elizabeth. We, we are, are your CVTV CV anchors. We have no birthdays to celebrate today. Please welcome Trace to lead us in the pledge today. Pledge of allegiance to the flag and the United States of America, to the Republic, and which it stands, one nation, other God, and indivisible. Liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Tracy. Mr. Terry would like all flag football club members to remember that tomorrow is last, the last day of flag football. Please make sure your parents know this information. Instead of doing a joke of the day, today we have decided to do a riddle, riddle of the day. The student who answered correctly and gets their name picked out of the orange box in Mr. Tom's room will win a prize. Okay, here is your riddle of the week. What has a face and two hands but no arms or legs? Please put all answers in the orange box in Mr. Tom's room. The, cor the correct answer and winner will be announced this Friday on WCVE Radio. Good luck! Next, we have an interesting story about dogs. Pooch power. Welcome to Alexis, Aaliyah, and Michael. Report of the day. I love dogs, don't you? Yes, yeah, sure. Well, we have some things to tell you about dog waste. Yes, we know it's dangerous to walk or walkers everywhere, and there is dog waste all over the place. But dog waste has a bright side. In 2010, one man lit it up to use a lantern. In a dog park, Cambridge, Massachusetts, the man asked the dog owners to pick up their dog waste and put it in a 500-gallon tank. This 500-gallon tank full of dog waste is now being used to power lights around the park. Yes, dogs are cute, but they like to do their business a lot. Yes, we know it's nasty, but the nastiness is keeping the park bright. And don't be surprised to see pooch power around here in the future. Thanks for listening. Back to you, anchors. Thank you, ladies. Next, we have Mrs. Brown's weekly message. Welcome back to CVTV, Mrs. Brown. Thank you, anchors. It's good to be back. You know, boys and girls, we have a holiday just a week or two away, and it's called Thanksgiving. And today, I wanted to take this opportunity to let you know I am thankful for you. I am thankful for the staff and for the students who come here every day. Those of you who are respectful and are caring to your classmates and caring to the adults, thank you. For those of you that show up every day prepared with your homework, I say thank you. For those of you who are safe with your hands and your feet, I say thank you. This is a wonderful Crestview family. We have a wonderful building. Boys and girls, I'm going to tell you our next phase of construction has been approved. We will be building a brand new gymnasium and performance area. And so that will be next year's surprise, and you deserve it. So I'm just thankful for all of you, and I want to be sure that I tell you that. Back to you, anchors. Guess what? What? The next issue of the student newspaper, the Crestview Chronicle, will be out this Thursday and Friday. Does it cost anything? It will cost 25 cents, so remember to bring your quarter to get the latest issue of the Crestview Chronicle. Next, we have Today in History. On this day in 1863, President Abraham Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address. This speech was given on, the, on a Civil War battlefield. It was one of the bloodiest battles of the war. Today, this speech is considered one of the, one of the greatest speeches ever given. Ever given. For our thought of the day, we would like to end today's CBTV with President Lincoln's words. Listen to the words spoken by Crestview's fifth, grade, fifth and sixth graders. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation. 
conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war testing whether that nation or any nation is so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that this nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little know, no longer remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us. That from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. And that government of the people. By the people. For the people shall not perish from this earth. Thank you for listening. I'm Elia. And I'm Elizabeth. Have a great Tuesday. Take care of yourself. And stay, stay responsible, responsible, respectful, and safe. safe.